$2,000 into $1 billion. This would set up anybody for life. Generational wealth. Incredible. But the problem is, is that most people don't have the stomach to sit through the dips, these pullbacks that are happening, right? Even right now, a lot of people are down on their holdings and a lot of them are jumping ship, okay? Not just in Chibi and you, but others. We can learn a lot of lessons from those who have come before us. In fact, this is the story of a guy who would have witnessed just that. Back in quarter four of 2020, this SHIB holder actually purchased $2,000 worth of SHIB. That was 25 trillion SHIB at the time. 25 trillion with the T, guys. So over the course of a couple of weeks, this $2,000 investment dipped down to $1,627. And anxiety got the best of him. He actually liquidated his entire bag, took the loss, called it a day. Today, this SHIB that he purchased for $2,000 would be worth $1 billion. Dollars, okay. Absolutely distraught. If you guys ever want to watch the video, go watch it. It's on YouTube. But this is a very important lesson to everyone. <clears throat> now, obviously, I think the days of going from two thousand dollars to one billion dollars are probably gone. Shib doesn't have that much room to move. It's gotten to the point where it's it's so big that these kind of gains just don't happen anymore. Now, two thousand dollars into much much more is still possible, right? I think you can make a lot of money off of SHIB still. As always, this is not financial advice. But if you don't have the stomach to sit through these times where the market is down in bear markets, when it follows market cycles, what are you going to do when the price is running, right? When there's active development that are getting launched, developments that are getting launched, right? When she being you continues to climb, and you see more and more adoption happening, are you going to have the stomach then to hold through the gains? Or are you going to freak out? Is anxiety going to get the, get the best of you? Unfortunately, too many people have emotional investment when it comes to their money, right? They, they use emotion in their, their day-to-day when it comes to trading, and that's the wrong way of doing it. You should be completely disconnected emotionally from your money because that's what it is. It's money, okay? This is a very important lesson to people. These kinds of stories we have heard time and time again. People who haven't made it because they've done the same thing. They've funded themselves out. History keeps repeating itself. So are you going to follow what history has shown or are you going to kind of change the narrative a little bit? Me personally, I'm completely disconnected from my money emotionally. Everything that I have is just sitting there. I'm accumulating at this time. I'm not selling any of my bags. I'm not chasing pumps. I have a very good strategy that I follow and it's worked out very well for me so far. I'm sure a lot of you guys have the same things. Don't be the person that sold $2,000 worth of SHIB on a loss and have it turn into $1 billion. Okay, that's the key thing to remember here. So it's very unfortunate. I feel for this person. I think a lot of us have made those mistakes, but we could do better going forward. We are now just getting to the point where this new market cycle is beginning. We're getting closer and closer to the bull market each and every day. And that's where a lot of this real opportunity lies. So don't miss out on future opportunity ahead of you is, I guess, the big takeaway from here. Appreciate you guys as always. Show your support below if you guys haven't already. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.